So my uh, phone died, so uh, while I was doing, uh, my brother and I cut the grass. I did a little trim around here. Looks really nice. But uh, yeah, we're back to the peach tree, and then we went over here to the other apple I got, which I believe is, uh, oh, I got it written there, Fuji. Or Fiji, excuse me. No, it's Fuji. Fuji apple. It's doing okay as well. Ground looks good. This is the only thing I haven't, I haven't covered a couple of these yet, but I will. And this is a blackberry. And, oh darn. What did I have here? I think this is a peach. Uh, oh, excuse me. This is my nectarine. That's my nectarine tree. The other one over there. Sorry. That one over there is a peach. And the one beside it. Right there is a nectarine and a peach. Okay, and I got another apple over here. Just makes out my little U shape here. This is my, uh, I'm out with my honey crisp, that's right. It's hard to keep them track, that's why I got some of them labeled. I'll definitely come back and label the other ones as well. And of course over here, my squash is uh, going crazy and uh, flowering like crazy. So I'm hoping to see lots of squash out of that. And over here, I believe it's my cucumbers. I got a few, few flowers. It's growing kind of small. And over here, I believe this is the Italian cucumber, Italian zucchini or something, and they grow like six feet long. So it'll be really interesting to see how this is gonna work out. You can see some of the flowers right on there. Just see the flower right there. And it's growing up the, uh, these trellises nice. I would have liked to see these squash, but hey, it's not uh, it's not over yet. Um, probably won't be harvesting them up till October or September, right? So it'll give them time to really sprout out there. The, the vines are definitely coming out of the grass there, coming this way. But yeah, it's nice there. Of course, we, we saw my my grape trellis, and some of my grapes like this one here is growing nicely uh, up the vine should this one here is having a hard time growing long because it's kind of laying on the ground a bit but when it gets uh, a little bit long enough I will tie it up at least or something give it a little ha helping hand and then my rhubarbs in here and my these are uh, well my, that's my lupins right there are these ones with the fancy big fancy leaves here and of course I have it in there I gotta watch what I touch though I has touched something earlier and I got a little bit of a blister on my arm and it happened really fast and uh, I don't want to do that again. So, yeah, there's the rest of my grapes over here. This is my Vidal, my white Vidal. And then, of course, I, I, my rhubarb's doing okay. I mean, they're, they're doing all right. Um, there's, a, there's a few of them in there. I just haven't cleaned it out yet. And, of course, I switched with my strawberries. And then my other, um, and you see my tomatoes. These were just extra tomatoes because my dad had way too many in one area. So we got those. I'm having a hard time with my loofahs though. There's, these are my loofahs. And they're having a hard time. I don't know if they're just really late bloomers or what, but I want them to grow faster. And uh, I'm not really sure. I got a lot of wild, wild strawberry though. As you can see, there's wild strawberry right there you can see it's right there and right right there you see that one that one right there my tomatoes got some coming in now let me get eats and then what I do like on the other side this is my cold hardy kiwi and she's growing right up there she'll she's not wasting any time covering that trellis thank god and I got some more loofah or cucamelon, I forget which one. I know I planted something in there somewhere, but that's that's them right there. Actually, I think it's the other way around. The other ones over there were cucamelon, and these are my loofah. Either way, we'll find out when it comes harvest time. But this is how far I've made it so far. So I'll take you on the path where the road will come in which is at the end of this pond here so there's the pond so I'm gonna look at look at it from this direction you see the hillside over there the backhoe and then there's the pipe right there right okay so this is 
going to be the road where we come across for the bigger, bigger equipment. Okay, and then we're going to just do a 180 here. Start walking down the edge here. And this will be the other part of the path. And again, I'm leaving, I'm leaving some things in here because, you know, they don't need to come out right now. Oh, you can't even see that, eh? All that sunshine. We've got a walnut right in front of me. So we'll, we'll do the path down in through here because I don't want to go, this is all sloped downward and I don't want to go down too far into the slope. And we got this. This is another tree, I'm not really sure what it is. I think it's a crab apple. Again, I don't know a lot about trees yet. I'm still learning. Um, but I kept this one specifically because it's a fruit tree. Well, regardless of what happens, I got fruit on this tree. <clears throat> There's another uh, berry bush. I'm not really sure what it is. And I mean, if you guys can identify it or even push me in the right direction, that'd be cool. Let me take a look at it. Just put it in the comments. And don't forget, if you uh, like these videos, by all means, you know, just push the subscribe button and the like button. And it doesn't cost you anything. It's just uh, just gives you a reminder of when I put out a new video, so you can be the first ones to watch it. So yeah, and then as we come down here, I got this little secret cove here. It's like a little, this is my hillside at the back. So this goes down to the creek, so we made this little pathway here. Uh, we haven't finished clearing it out, but you know, can't do everything. We'll, we'll get to it. And uh, when this gets all nice and put some rocks in here, maybe a couple of log uh, steps or something. Um, but then you can just get down in there into the, into the creek bed there. As we come back out, we can follow up here a bit. So, you see I just saved all my walnut trees. I like them anyways. Yeah, they'll grow nice sporadically. Um, but yeah, okay, so now we're back on the road which will go up this way. And I have two rows right here. It starts right here with my mulberry bush. It's our mulberry tree. And then uh, where we planted the apple tree. And it goes straight down that line right there. And then when you get over here, to this is uh, mom, pa, pear tree here um, it's not doing too bad I'm getting a lot of fruit on it but yeah I can see you're getting the sunshine off the wrong side here but if you go straight towards this way that's the other row and on the other side you know I have a cherry and a plum so let's walk through here so yeah we'll get a cherry and a plum is right there right there in the front and there's a line here and then there's another line over there so there's my other cherry oh sorry that's the apple tree and then my my sister cherry there and then my plum tree coming up so they're doing pretty good these are I believe my Santa Rosa's black plums you're doing all right so as you can see again you have the uh, rows that way along there and then obviously down this way and they'll meet at the other end and kind of stop and then the road will be on this side coming up through this way and then coming up through this this way and taking a left and going down the tree line that I cleared out so like all of this area from over here the tree line to the basically the, the pear trees here this big pear tree and the other pear tree these were all full of thorn trees bushes uh, scrub scrub brush all kinds of stuff you name it it was there and I cleared it all out and uh, thinned this right out so I gained about I don't know half an acre just by doing that and we'll just take a look over here again there's my my neighbor does a little composting my tree line and down there now we planted stuff down there but who knows I don't know if my wild flowers are coming up I don't see anything quite yet but well keep you posted a lot of this up here I got my pawpaws down in there still doing their thing hopefully they'll come up next year 
wild asparagus over there. Let's uh, zoom back out again. So another walnut which is loaded, but I think it's preventing my pears from doing any anything. It doesn't seem to be putting out any pear this year. Not too much. So we'll see what happens with that. Soon I'll have to cut down the asparagus and lay it down in the box there. Um, and I got uh, these were my were my gladiolus and my I couldn't tell you the name of these. You'd have to watch my other video where I was planting the bulbs in here. Um, I don't know it offhand. I'll try and put it in the comments. Uh, but yeah, the purple ones are still go. The gladiolus has had their day. They're done. So they're just uh, laying down and doing their thing. Still working on this this bed hasn't been quite established yet it was just kind of thrown together um, so yeah i just kind of throw a lot of sticks and branches in there on these ones so yeah you can see our road just keeps going straight up and through here and it just keeps going up into the goat fence uh, i'll show you there when we get there so we're at my worm tea composter which is pretty much manure leachate uh, for now but I mean it's it's worked its way down a lot actually this was uh, twice as high as this so I would assume it's active and we'll let it sit there and I'll just keep putting it in the garden and see what happens and you can see um, where I'm starting to stack my pile because I want to extend this hill so I need to make a flatter surface at the top my greenhouse is going up there and it's 75 feet long so I'm looking at 100 feet I want to grab just to make sure I got lots of room. See, mounds and mounds of dirt move. So we're at the other end of the road. It's gonna go in here. And along this road side though, I wanna put a row. Like right now I have all kinds of stuff in the way, but again, it didn't need to come down right now and it's better to take the stuff down in the winter time. But what I wanna do is put a row of sugar maples all the way down that road as far as i can go you know maybe even two rows spread it out lots of room out here so but it, maples are good leaves are good for uh, fertilizer uh you know when they get big enough 10 or 15 years from now i'll be able to tap them and they'll look nice in the fall they smell good and when they get too big you know if i have to cut them down they make good firewood and good uh Good furniture wood. So we're at the back of the goat pen and uh, right over here this is my pear. This is uh, what I thought well originally this was my mama pear but we're not gonna call it that anymore. This is uh, like wow like look at all those pears. That is amazing how much pears are just on that one branch. And it's got a good a good cutting too. It looks like it needs another little pruning. I got some uh, got some sprouts there, water sprouts coming out, but still it's got plenty, of, plenty of pears. Oh my goodness. I hope they turn out. They look they look pretty good so far. Yeah, it's a nice tree. I still gotta get into her and oh there's some dead up there and cut that out of there and do a few things, but yeah, I'll we'll get to that too. I enjoy that kind of work. Oh, here come the film stars. <laughs> Hi girls. Hi girls. Yeah. This is our goat herd, or my mom's goat herd anyways. My dad, my dad likes them too. I like them. They're getting milk now, so we're using them, some of that milk because we have so much of it for the goats, or sorry, for the cows. Yeah, uh, feeds to the cows. But oh, thanks. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Okay. And this is uh, looking to the front. Stop that. So this is looking to the front of the uh, farm. And uh, I don't know if you can see just on the other side there in the other paddock, we've taken the male goats. They're big enough now that they need to be separated. So they're put in with the with the other boys. So the goats have totally eaten the bark off of this walnut tree. So I'm thinking this is its last season. 
it's, it's loaded with walnut too. You can see all the walnuts that are on it. But it's really thinned out and she's dying. Say la vie. Should I should have wrapped it up. I should have done that way before and I had a few other trees I should have done that too. But you know, this is their play yard, not mine. So then we got the apple. And let me zoom in on that because look at the apples that are coming out after that nice trimming I gave it. Like the apples are just abundant. And they look pretty good from here. The goats like the ripe ones. They really don't care for the green ones that much. They do kind of spit them out. They do like the leaves, they like the branches. And of course I got pear too, you know, there's you know, pear right beside it. There's a bunch of pears on this little one. And they've eaten all the bark on it, so we don't know how long that's gonna get to live. Um, and this one too, and this one too. But then we got some big ones up on the tree line and you can see, you can't even see that at that. Let me, come on girls, get out of the way. Get off of me. Oh. So, right here, I don't know if you can see there. Look at, there. Look at all those pears. I have to look up. It's so tall, it's probably a 50 foot tree. But yeah, it's good fodder for the animals. So, now we're going into the, uh, the front paddock here. This is where the chickens and the pigs and the male goats and the cows are so we'll go say hi and check out the chickens are almost old enough to uh, have some eggs for us i actually bought eggs today i was uh was flabbergasted that i had to pay five dollars for 12 eggs i haven't bought eggs in forever all right let's go check these girls out Oh, there's a little bunny rabbit over there. Okay, gotcha. I don't think I got him on my... Oh, there he is. You see him? There he is. What are you doing? You getting into trouble there, Peter? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so let's get into the chicken coop here. See what we got going on. How are we doing, girls? Where are you, chickens? Chickens in here. Oh no, where are the chickens at? Uh, I wonder if there... There's no chickens here. That's no good. Well, there's the boys. Boys are back in town. And we got the uh, the king boys up here. It's their their hierarchy position right there. Oh, there's the girls. Look at. And we got some. Oh, there's our new cows. Unfortunately, the one didn't make it. You probably think I'm gonna give them a bottle, but I'm not. I'm not giving you guys nothing. You guys are gonna have to wait for that. You're gonna have to wait. Well, let's get some chicken action here. You know, the chickens are scratching away, hiding from the camera. They must be camera shy. Camera shy, there they are. Come on girls, go get me some eggs. Yeah, see this guy here, he's he's rubbing on my leg, but you gotta watch, they, they wanna grab things, like little kids running right at your crotch, that's exactly what they do, see? Come on, girls, come on, come on, come on, where are you going, come on, there you go, oh, they're so cute, especially when they start playing, and I, there's uh, Billy Goat Gruff here, He's got a, he's got quite the, uh, yeah, say cheese. Are you ready for your close up? Let's give you a close up. You ready? <laughs> yeah, you're in the close up. There we go. Zoom out on you. Good boy. So, that pretty much does it for our 
for our farm tour for today. So, once again, we've got a nice sunset coming. Here it is. Lots of room to work. And, you know, when I showed you that tree line, there's five acres out the back of there that I could always develop if I wanted to. But let's see if we can get this rocking first. It'd be really cool to get down in there and make it a business. Good night, girls. Good night, John boy. Uh, I almost forgot the star of the show. Gracie, the pig. Say hi, Gracie. Say good night, Gracie.